When most people think about bees, they think about getting stung. Bees are essential. They are essential if you want fruit, and they are essential if you want vegetables, because they pollinate all of those crops. Without bees taking pollen from one apple tree to another apple tree, you wouldn't have any apples. We are now facing the biggest mystery to hit our world in living memory. But what is clear is that bees are dying in their billions, and we don't know why. Now imagine this, a world with no coffee, no oranges, no onions, no tomatoes. Theoretically, that could one day become a reality if the world's bee population continues to decline. Bees don't just make honey, they're essential pollinators. What a lot of people don't realise is that one in every three bites of food that they put into their mouth, the bees put that food on their dinner table. And one in three honeybees' hives didn't survive last winter. Bees are an indicator of environment quality. If these bees are dying, something is definitely wrong. But we don't have to wait for the government to act on these issues. We can all do something to make a difference today. Here are some of the things that we have done to make a difference. We started by finding out what we knew about the issue. I made a survey to guide public attitude towards it. We went to the Birmingham Botanical Gardens to meet with the beekeeper to find out more about bees. We played a game which helped us to understand more about pollination and the importance of bees. We also identified and counted any bees that we saw and sent the data to the British Bee Count for their ongoing research. Then we discussed what we wanted to achieve. We created a poster campaign to raise awareness about the declining bee population. And built our own website and promoted it on the local radio. Good morning, Lewis. Good morning. Good morning, my friend. How are you? I'm all right. Excellent. Where about you from? I'm from Birmingham. All right, whereabouts in the Big B? Uh, Shard End. Shard End, good lad. And how can we help you this morning? Well, we're here, we're here to talk to you about the um, declining bee population anyway, so you can learn a bit more. We held a cake sale to raise money so that we buy wildflower seeds for every family in the school and equipment for a DT project. We built some bee hotels for solitary bees to live and lay eggs in. We invited local MP Liam Byrne into our class who said he would like to raise the issues in the Houses of Parliament.